I'm 100% sure you'll find this very useful. How to calculate percentages. I know your initial reaction, ah, uh, why do I need to know this? But think about it. Being able to calculate percentages isn't just necessary for school kids that need to pass their next math test on the topic. From figuring out how much you should tip at a restaurant to knowing how much money you can save on that 70% sale at the store down the road, yeah, there are tons of real-life situations when this knowledge comes in handy. That's why we're here to make your life a whole lot easier. After this video, you'll be a walking-talking human calculator. So make yourself comfortable and, like Jack Black says in School of Rock, let's get off your ass and learn some math! But first, take this moment to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Today we've got 5 useful tricks in calculating percentages. But pay attention, because we're going to test what you've learned after every single part. <laughs> All set? Then let's start with the most common approaches. Method number 1. Calculating the needed percentage. Before we start crunching numbers, it's important to understand what exactly a percentage is. Mathematically speaking, it's a way to express a number as a part of a whole. Let's say, for instance, you bought 7 bananas and then gulped one down right away. Burp. What percent of your bananas have you eaten? This task may sound daunting at first, but it's way easier to solve than you think. You had 7 bananas, which makes 100%. That's your total inventory, right? And you ate one banana out of these seven. All you have to do is find out what percent of the total this one banana makes. To do that, you just have to divide the number of bananas you ate, 1, by the number of bananas that make 100, 7. But since we're after the percent, you'll need to multiply the result by 100% as well. So for our little task, it's 1 divided by 7, and then that number times 100. In the end, you'll get about 14%. And there you go! You consumed 14% of your bananas when you ate one of the seven. Now, doesn't that have appeal? <laughs> now, let's see how you cope with a similar task on your own. Task number one. Your dog just gave birth to six of the cutest puppies the world has ever seen. Unfortunately, you can keep only two of them. Yeah, I know, bummer. So, what percentage of your puppies will you keep, and what percent will you give away? You have 15 seconds to figure it out. Feel free to pause the video, pause the video, if you need more time. Okay, now let's go through this together. We'll start with the puppies you're going to keep. Divide 2 by 6 and multiply that number by 100. That gives us 33%. Now for the sad part, the puppies you're giving away. That'll be 4 divided by 6 times 100, which is about 67%. If you got these numbers, then congrats! You catch on really fast. No time to relax though, we've got a whole bunch of other methods to discuss. Method number 2. Working with the given percentage. Let's say you know the percentage of something, but you don't know the numerical value. Sounds complicated, I know. Now, just imagine if you borrowed $100 from a friend, and he's going to charge you an interest rate of 3% a day. Some kind of friend, right? More like a loan shark. So exactly how many dollars is this 3%? To solve this task, you need to do two simple multiplications. First off, you have to multiply 3 by 0.01 which is 0.03. That's 3% in its decimal form. Then you multiply the $100 that you borrowed, which makes 100% in this case, by 0.03. In the end, you're paying $3 a day in interest. Now let's put all this new knowledge into practice. Task number 2. There are 850 books in your local library. The library is going out of business and has decided to give 40% of their books to a nearby school. How many books will the school get? Again, 15 seconds to find the correct answer.
Well, according to our formula, we first need to multiply 40 by 0.01, which is 0.4. Then, we take 0.4 and multiply it by the number of books that make 100%, which is 850. So, your final answer should be 340. See? All this percentage stuff is a walk in the park. <laughs> Let's keep chugging along. Method number 3. Calculating discounts. Sales are the best, right? So, what if something with a hefty price tag of 200 bucks catches your eye, and it's on sale at 30% off? How much would you pay? Hmm, let's see. The first step is to find out the opposite of the discounted percent. So, let's take 100% minus 30% to get 70%. Here's where the second formula that we've discussed comes in. Multiply 70 by 0.01, which is 0.7. Take that 0.7 times the initial price of $200. That means the new price is $140. Ah, that's a pretty good deal. Now, let's see if you can apply this method to our new task. Task number 3. The vinyl record of your favorite album of all time costs 16 bucks, But you're in luck. The store's having a huge sale, and now you can buy it at 70% off. How much does the album cost now? <laughs> Time's a ticking. Thanks to the sale, you'll only have to pay 30% of the album's original price. The remaining calculations are a piece of cake. We multiply 30 by 0.01 to get 0.3 and then multiply it again by 16 bucks. In the end, you can get this vinyl for only $4.80. <laughs> if only stores were this generous in real life. Method number 4. A trick for 25% tasks. Now that we're done with all of the most common methods for calculating percentages, it's time to learn some awesome shortcuts. This next little trick is extremely useful for tasks involving 25% of something. 25% is a quarter or one-fourth of 100%, right? So, whenever you need to find 25% of something, or you already know 25% of a whole, you can simply divide or multiply the initial number by 4. For example, you need to calculate 25% of 80. Just divide it by 4, and you get 20. Or if you know that 15 makes 25% of something, Simply multiply 15 by 4 to get the correct answer of 60. Task number 4. There are 300 pieces of jewelry in Mrs. Fernandez's house. She paid for 25% of them herself. Well, let's assume the rest were gifts and that she's not some infamous jewel thief. <laughs> How many pieces of jewelry did Mrs. Fernandez buy with her own money? Tick-tock, 15 seconds on the clock. Three hundred divided by four is seventy-five. <laughs> Easy peasy. Task number five: You're saving your money to buy your dream bicycle. So far, you've saved up four hundred bucks, but that's only twenty-five percent of the bike's total price. How much does the bike cost? Just multiply $400 by 4, and you'll find that the bicycle's full price is $1,600. Method number 5. Find the most convenient percentage first. Anytime you need to calculate something in your head, like the tip you should leave at a restaurant, you can find the most convenient percentage first and then go further from it. For example, when you need to find 5% of something, find 10% instead and split the result in half. This trick works with 15% as well. Find 10%, halve it, and add that half to the result. The last trick for 10% is doubling it when you need to find 20%. The same works for 50% too. If you need 25%, 
find 50% and divide it by 2. If you need 60%, find 50%, divide it by 5 to get 10%, and add that to the initial 50%. And finally, for 75%, find 50%, have it, and add the half to that 50%. Everything becomes so much simpler this way, don't you think? Let's put your new skills to the test. Task number 6. There are 300 kids in a camp, but 75% of them went home early. So, how many children didn't stick it out for the whole camp session? We know that 300 kids make 100%, so it's only logical that 150 is 50%. But we need to find 75%, right? So let's have 50% to find the remaining 25%. Divide 150 by 2 to get 75. Then add that 75 to 150, and you'll learn that 225 kids decided to cut camp short. It's way less hard and a lot more fun to solve tasks with this trick, isn't it? And that's basically it for the different ways to solve percentage tasks. Don't forget that the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. If you need to study for a test or maybe you're just bored and need some mental stimulation, simply pick some random numbers and start doing mental math. This way, you'll quickly become a pro at percents. Hey, getting back to those puppies you're giving away? Why not sell them? We can help you calculate your profit percentages too. So, what's the hardest thing about math for you? Tell us in the comments below, and perhaps we'll make another video to help you out with your math struggles. Don't forget to give us a like, and click that subscribe button to stay on the bright side of life!